dragons have appeared on the Willamette River in Portland, Oregon every spring since 1989. That's when teams begin to practice for North America's largest Taiwanese-style dragon boat event, hosted each year by the Portland Kaohsiung Sister City Association as part of the Portland Rose Festival. As many as 90 teams from around the world compete to catch the flag on race day. When I got to St. Mary's, I was like, I know that I'm going to do dragon boats, and so here I am. I love it because it's just this great sense of teamwork, and you get to do something really unique and fun, and it's something that really makes Portland an awesome city. Three, two, one, nice job! I paddle this big boat that looks like a dragon. Today is my birthday and I am 83 years old today. So you can paddle and not worry how old you are. It's just good for you. So two of my friends and I were walking on the waterfront one day and uh, the golden dragons were coming off the river. And we said, what are you guys doing? How can we join? And they said, just come on down. And so we did. Well, I've been here three years. I had six medals, so we must have won some. Who are we? Wasabi! What are we? special dragons. They are all athletes with developmental disabilities and this is I think our 16th year that we have been paddling. It's just fun to be here. It's fun. I really like it. It's not as easy as it looks. I do get tired but I push through my tiredness. <laughs> about strong posture, you can see how that could help you as an athlete in the boat. So when it rocks forward, you might get a little bit more curve in your spine. When it rocks back, it might take something else. And I want you to practice going smoothly back and forth in between those positions. I paddle and I call. Yeah, but I much rather paddle. It's more fun. Paddlers are really just water pullers. And the more water you can pull, the better the boat's going to run. I think dragon boating is the ultimate team sport because a fast boat is a boat that's entirely in unison from front to back. There are times where your boat is going to get in that zone where everything is working in unison. It's a, it's a great feeling. If, if I'm the boat commander in our boat, who's my lookout? You all are. You all are. Because bottom line is if the tiller screws it up, you're all going to go in the same place, right? Because you're all in the same boat. One, two, three, If you're going to be a caller, you need to be a paddler. Two, because three, you need to understand four, what three, your team is going four, through and one, what you can ask of them. A caller in a dragon boat is like a coxswain in a rowing team. They need to know what they can demand out of their team and what their team can do. Three, two, one. Okay, off you go. Thank you, Tom. Thanks. My name is Tom Crowder. Be careful. I'm the race director for the Portland Rose Festival Dragon Boat Race. We now have our entire fleet of new boats on the river at the dock. It took us about 150 person hours between last Wednesday and yesterday to get that done. Three of us worked. We just worked 10 hours on Saturday. You know, these things just don't happen. It takes a lot of work. These new boats have 10 benches, and so they seat 20 paddlers. The old boats have 8 benches, only seating 16 paddlers. And the hulls, the hulls are um, really smooth, and, and uh, what we're finding is these boats will glide more in the water than the old boats. Many volunteers from the teams that help us paint the boats and do other repairs during the off season.
Bringing dragons to the Willamette River was the vision of local businessman and sports enthusiast, Mr. Liu Chi. Every time you're passing through the, uh, the Markham Bridge, and he said, wouldn't that be nice? We see the dragon boat you know, paddling down there. Look what happened now. Every April to, to, to Chung Tai, every year, we see that thing is happening. It's a great, you know, it's just like a one man passion and idea actually happened. And obviously it's not only his side, you know, his, his, his personal individual's effort. There's a lot of community, a lot of people, cities official on both sides. Certainly making this event becoming an annual, you know, Rose Festival, you know, the annual event it happened every year. According to Chinese tradition, dragon boat races are held on the anniversary of the death of Chu Yuan, a famous poet who lived during the Warring States period of Chinese history. Chu was a deeply patriotic man, and when a neighboring state invaded his, Chu committed suicide by drowning himself in the Milo River. The people paddled their boats into the river to save Chu. When they realized it was too late, they attempted to frighten away both hungry fish and evil spirits by banging drums and slapping paddles on the water. After slumbering all winter, dragons must be reawakened. Now is the time to wake the dragons. The annual Awakening of the Dragons ritual involves traditional prayers and blessings by a Taoist priest. pupils are painted on the dragon's bulging eyes. This tradition is tied to a Chinese legend from the Liang dynasty in which a famous artist, Zhang Shangyo, painted four white dragons on the walls of a temple in Nanjing, China. Although the dragons were incredibly lifelike, the artist said he would not paint the eyes of the dragons because doing so would bring them to life and they would fly away. all at race weekend. Hopefully you'll just be so excited that you can't sleep the night before. Take it away.